वेलकम बैक दिस इज साक्षी काकड़े एंड इन टूडेज सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द अर्थमेटिक एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज द इनफिक्स प्रिफिक्स एंड पोस्टफिक्स एक्सप्रेशन एंड एट लास्ट वी विल सी द प्रोग्राम फॉर पोस्टफिक्स एक्सप्रेशन इवेल्युएशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फॉर द टूडेज सेशन द फर्स्ट वन इज इनफिक्स नोटेशन सो टू एड ए एंड बी वी राइट इट एज ए प्लस बी वेदर टू मल्टीप्लाई ए एंड बी वी राइट ए इन टू बी सो द ऑपरेटर्स प्लस एंड इन टू गो इन बिटवीन द ऑपरेंट्स दैट इज ए एंड बी सो दिस इज बेसिकली द इनफिक्स नोटेशन सो रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट दैट इज इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज ए प्लस बी ए एंड बी आर ऑपरेंट्स एंड प्लस इज द ऑपरेटर सो वेन एवर the operator is between the operands in that case it is called as infix notation or infix expression so the next one is prefix notation so what is it instead of saying a plus b we could say add ab and write plus ab yes it is valid and while multiplying ab we would write it as star ab so this is a prefix notation so remember this point as in this expression the operator is given in front of the operands that a and b so whenever the operator is in the first position then in that case the expression is called as prefix expression or it is a prefix notation so the next one is postfix notation so another alternative is to put the operators after the operands in ab plus and ab into so this is a postfix notation so whenever we are putting the operator at the rightmost side of the operands in that case the notation is called as postfix notation or either we can say it as a postfix expression so the next one is parenthesis that is if i give you the task that evaluate 2 plus 3 into 5 so what will you do first either plus or multiplication yes this question arises so if we take plus as first then we need to put parenthesis before 2 and after 3 so first we need to do the addition and then multiplication so 3 plus 2 will give us 5 and 5 into 5 will give us 25 and if we consider multiplication first then we need to give the parenthesis before 3 and after 5 so first we need to do the multiplication that is 5 into 3 it will be 15 and then we need to add that with 2 so we will get 70 so whenever we are writing the infix notation we need to give the parenthesis so in infix notation parenthesis are required so what about the prefix notations so in this case plus 2 star 3 5 so how it will get evaluated so first we need to make the multiplication of 3 and 5 that is 5 into 3 it will be 15 and then we need to add that that is 15 plus 2 it will give 17 again if we consider the example multiplication plus 2 3 5 5 so we will get something like this that is we will get the answer as 25 5. so remember this point that is in prefix notation the parenthesis are not required whether as whereas in infix notations we require the parenthesis again if we go for the case of postfix notation so in that in that case if we take the example as 2 3 5 star plus so we will get something answer as 17 again if we consider the another example again we will get the answer so in this case again the parenthesis are not required so only in in fix notations parenthesis is required whereas in prefix and postfix notation parenthesis are not required so let's move forward to the next one that is evaluating postfix expression so while we evaluate a postfix postfix expression what we need to do first we have to use a star and assume binary operators that is plus star so first we need to input the postfix expression 
which will be inputted by the user and we have to then scan the input and if we have to check the condition if operand is present then we need to push the operand to the stack whereas if operator is present then we need to pop the stack twice and then we need to apply that operator and then again we need to push result back to the stack so remember this point that whenever operand is present we need to push that element into the stack and whenever operators is present so in that case we need to pop out the element twice from the stack so let us see this with an example let us consider the example as 5 9 8 plus 4 6 star star 7 plus star so this is basically a postfix expression so how we need to solve this so in the first stage my stack will be empty so i have to check in the expression whether the first character is either it is a operand or it is a operator so in this case as 5 is operand so i need to push that element into my stack in the next case again my operand is present so i need to push the element into that stack in the third case again operand is present so i need to push that into the stack so initially i have done the push operation of 5 9 and 8 but in the next case the operator plus is present so in that case we need to pop out the elements that is we need to perform the pop operation twice so the 8 and 9 the both elements will be get popped out and now my stack will contains only one element that is 5 so the popped elements we need to perform the operation on that that is it will be 8 plus 9 and again we have to push that result into that stack so the result will be 8 plus 9 that is it will be 17 and we need to push that into the stack so my now my stack contains two elements that is 5 and 17 so the next one is 4 that is it is again an operand so again i need to perform the push operation again the next element is 6 and it is operand so i again i need to perform the push operation so here instead of 5 9 8 it must be 17 6 and 4 so after performing the push operation i get the stack as this so after this as star comes so the star is basically a operator so i need to pop out two elements from my stack that is as 6 and 4 are at the last position that is they are at the top so i need to perform the pop operation on them so my stack will now contain only two elements that is 5 and 17 and the pop elements are 6 and 4 and the as the operator is star that is of multiplication so i need to do the operation as 6 into 4 and the result i need to push again into the stack so my stack will now look like this that is i after pushing the result that is 24 into 8 my stack will now consist of the element 5 17 and 24 again in the next case star is present that is as there is operator again we need to perform the pop operation twice so as 24 and 17 both are, both are at the top position so i need to pop out them and i need to do the perf i need to perform the multiplication operation with them that is 24 into 17 so after getting the result of 24 into 17 again i need to push that result into my stack and i will now get the stack like this that is 5 4 not 8 but again the next one is my operand that is 7 so i need to again push the element 7 into my stack and my stack will now look like this so the next one is the plus operator so remember whenever operator is present we need to perform the pop operation twice so as 7 is top at the top it will get first pop out and the next one will be 408 so it will again get popped out and after getting popped out i need to perform the addition operation with it so i will and again i need to push that result into the stack 
so my stack now will look like this that it will contain two elements that is 4 1 5 and 5 so as star is present so again i need to pop out the last two elements from my stack and as star is present so i need to multiply them so after multiplying them i will get the result as 2075 now the expression is get evaluated completely and the last element present into my stack is 2075 so again we need to pop out that element that is that value that is 2075 from my stack and this will be my result of so let us see the postfix expression evaluation through a program i have uh, already written that in this compiler so initially i have given the stack as integer data type and I'm, i have given the maximum size as 20 in this case and after that as i am using a st uh, stack so i have given the top as minus one that is in the initial condition my stack will be empty so this is the void push function you all know how push function works so in the first step uh, we add uh, increment the value of top that that is top equals to top plus one and stack of top equals to x so this is basically a push a uh, function so after that this is the pop function again you know how pop function works so this is the code for pop function that is i have given the integer as x then x equals to stack of top and top equals to top minus minus so this is basically the pop function how it will be work now here comes the void main that is when uh, whenever we are giving the void main function what i have done over here is that i have taken a character expression which will be of maximum size that is 20 and i have given starry that is this is my pointer variable so i will explain later on why i have taken starry and again i have taken the integer values as n1 n2 and n3 and num so initially we will give the um, message on the screen as enter the expression then user will give the expression and we have to check for the condition now that is i will go later on so in this case while star e not equals to slash zero remember this case that user will give us a string so each and every element in that string will be character it will be neither a number not an operator so this star e will give the ascii value this star e will give the ascii value of that character so we are comparing that while star of e not equals to in double quotes slash zero and in that we are checking the condition that if is digit star e that that is star e will give me the ascii value and after getting the ascii value i am checking whether it is a digit or not so if my number that is user enter a operand so in that case it will be a digit and so if condition will be get evaluated and i have to do this operation that is num equals to star e minus 48 so now what ha happens in this operation is that star e minus 48 so star e will give me the ascii value let us suppose that two number is given by the user that is in this case two will be my operand so the ascii value for 2 is 50 and now then the number will become 50 minus 48 that it will become 2 so i am getting the number as 2 which, which will be now a integer value and if i have told you that if it is a operand then we need to perform the push operation so as it is a number we will perform the push operation and else if my operand is not present that is if the element entered is not a operand it is a operator so in that case the else part will run and in that case i need to perform the pop operation twice i have told you that if operator is there so we need to perform the pop operation twice and if operand is present so we need to push the element 
so then we will go for the switch star e so if it is a plus then we need to perform the operation that is n1 plus n2 the numbers given by the user and uh, for minus it will be n2 minus n1 for multiplication it will be n1 into n2 and for division it will be n2 by n1 and after that the we need to push the result which will be get into that stack so after that we will again pop out that stored result from the stack and we will print the result so in this case we can write the program for postfix expression evaluation so let us execute this program so i am running this program so i hope that you can see uh, this uh, window of uh, cmd so i have got the message as enter the expression so i will enter the expression as 5 4 plus so the answer for this will must be 5 plus 4 that is 9 so let us check that we will get the answer or not yes the answer is exact so this is basically how postfix expression works so this was all about today's session i hope that you guys are now clear with the concept of stack and again the postfix expression how we can evaluate that with using stack so thank you for listening to the session thank you